This box, what's in it, and how it got here are all important, but we'll get back to that. A few days earlier, we opened a letter, which got this story started. Prosecuting attorney Daryl Moore gave me the go-ahead to test just how easy it is for teens to buy alcohol online. Using a prepaid credit card from the mall, I started shopping. Checkout went smoothly. All I had to do was give my age. I typed in 24, even though I'm 17. Some sites warn that a 21-year-old will have to sign for delivery. This one didn't. After placing my order, this package was left on my doorstep four days later. We immediately handed the vodka over to Green County investigator Cami LaFollette. I think it's incredibly disconcerting that it's so easy for underage people to obtain alcohol. Then it was time to call the online vendor who sold us the alcohol. Yeah, my name is Rachel Miles and I'm a reporter for my school's TV show called HTV Magazine and this conversation is being recorded because I'm 17 years old and was able to purchase alcohol from your website and I was wondering if there was someone there I could talk to about your sales procedures. I don't think I could help you with that. Alright, is there anyone there that we could talk to about this? Why don't you give me a number and I'll have somebody call you back. At this point in the conversation, I gave my name, cell phone number, and order number, and then he took the offensive. Okay, and you're saying you placed an order fraudulently with our website? The responsibility falls on the website, so I hope they have a better answer than you shouldn't have tried to get liquor from them. Because the reality is, you are conducting an experiment, and if you were able to do it, then it raises the question of how many times are they selling liquor to underage people. And that call from the company that sold us the alcohol? It never came. So they may be hearing from Daryl Moore's office soon. The prosecutor also plans to discuss illegal internet sales to minors with a congressional delegation. And I'll bring it to their attention that this is just outrageous that this is so easily done and that somebody in the federal government, I'm sure there's got to be a federal agency that's responsible for regulating these people, uh, it needs to be looked at. For HTV Magazine, I'm Rachel Miles reporting.